Hey everyone, it's Marvin again, and welcome to episode 3 of our online tutorial on YouTube. Um, in this episode, we're going to quickly talk about how to set up the very basics for your account, so kind of uploading your staff avatar, um, updating your signatures, inviting in, inviting other staff members and or other people on your team so they can log into ReMAs and kind of work side by side you. Um, so in the last episode, we talked through kind of the onboarding process and kind of what you want to do with ReMAs. This episode is going to be a little bit more relaxed. It's going to give you some time to digest all of that. Um, so as soon as you're done with the onboarding process, you'll be taken to the main dashboard. Um, the way the main dashboard is set up is very, very straightforward. So on the most on the left hand side, you'll have your main kind of functions or uh, functionalities in ReMAs. Um, so you have inbox, which is for basically all of your conversations. You have reporting, you have articles for your FAQ. You have the live dashboard, which we'll obviously talk about in another episode. You have all of your contacts and you have settings and then the help icon. Um, you click this to basically send us a message or to read through our FAQ. Our FAQ, kind of like the ReMAs FAQ. Um, next to that are your uh, channel filters um, and also your tag filters. So up at the very top, we have awaiting and all unresolved. And these are the two most important filters for you to kind of start your day on. So awaiting are basically conversations that are um, either assigned or unassigned to you. Um, and basically it adopts a machine learning and it surfaces the conversations that most require your attention. All unresolved is basically everything in reverse chronological order. So you can basically pick out the conversations or customers that have been waiting the longest. Um, and then you have kind of general filters like all conversations, uh, conversations that you're subscribed to, conversations that you're participating, meaning you're kind of following it, but you're not, you're not an active participant. Um, everything that you've archived, on hold conversations, um, basically conversations that you've set a reminder for. So for example, I can click on this, I can set a reminder for myself to follow up. Um, basically everything that's uh, auto resolved through the assistant, which we will kind of cover in another episode, and outbound, which is everything that you've sent from ReMAs. Um, you can send individual one-off messages from ReMAs. Um, and then you have your channel filters right now. There's only one email inbox. But if you've connected your Facebook account, um, Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, um, SMS, or voice, all of those channels would appear here. And then tags are basically folders or labels, um, and they appear at the bottom. Um, so uh, what we recommend is obviously to go through kind of the welcome messages here that are from myself. Um, but they're broken up into five parts, and you can look through them um, on your own time. And they have some pretty important information uh, that will kind of get you started. Um, and you can um, delete them, you can archive them, you can kind of play with the controls up here. Um, so for this episode, we're going to talk about updating your staff info. Um, so to start off, we're going to go to settings. Uh, we recommend you doing this first just so you, know, you don't get sidetracked. Um, and it's pretty important for your brand, especially if you kind of adopt ReMA's live chat. It's important to show your icon or to show your image or to show your kind of your your company branding, right? So it's important to start off here. So we're gonna go to staff, um, and this is your account. So if you're the admin, you're the account here. Go to actions. You can click edit, um, and then you can just basically choose a file to upload, and you can um, pick an image, pick an icon, pick an avatar, and upload it here. Um, for the subscribe channels, when you add new staff, you'll, you'll be able to automatically subscribe them to certain channels for notifications. Um, so you can either choose all or none. Obviously, right now, there's only one. Um, so can, you can just leave that. So this is where you would update your staff profile. If we go back to staff again, you can add a new staff. And we'll just ask you for their name, um, for their email address. And they'll be sent a welcome message. Um, they'll be asked then to create their own account. Um, and also update their password um, so they can log in simultaneously. Um, so that's staff avatars and inviting new staff members. Now, ReMA supports signatures, which is pretty important if you're using ReMAs for email. Um, it overrides whatever you have in your origin inbox. So let's say you're using Gmail, right? And you have a Gmail signature. Well, if you're using ReMAs, um, you can opt to use the ReMAs cha email channel signature when you reply to customers. 
Um, and that's preferable because it doesn't have to go through Gmail and the formatting will always be consistent if you're sending them from Reamaze. Um, the other benefit of using Reamaze signatures is because we support email channel signatures. So most of the time, channel, uh, signatures belong to individuals. For example, under personal settings, I can go to signature and I can add my own signature here. So let's say I'm Marvin Strauss. Um, uh, let's say I'm uh, the customer experience guru here, right? So you can add that in, in individual signatures and this supports markdown. So you can add images um, as well. So image for the for inserting images, for example, is just an exclamation point, um, alt text, and then you put the image URL here and that will pull in the image. Obviously make sure this, whatever image you're uploading or connecting is sized properly and has the right transparencies and all that stuff. Um, you can upload them anywhere, um, like Dropbox or what we, we recommend, Imgur. So you can add that here. So that would be your personal signature. Um, if you want to use your origin inbox or your normal email signature, you can do pass-through email signatures. So the description says, when you respond to a conversation via email, the setting will hide your RMA signature in favor of your email client signature. So if you absolutely want to use the one that you have in Gmail or Outlook, um, you can check this option here. So when you're done with that, go ahead and click save. So that's your personal signature, right? Um, now, email channel signatures are a little bit more useful because it allows you to um, add a signature for that entire email channel. So every staff will actually have this appended to their personal signature. Um, and their personal one will just kind of appear either, I think it's either above or below. We can take a look right now. Uh, but let's say channel signature right now is off, right? So we're gonna click off and you can add a channel signature um, for this email channel. So it says, Reamaze will add this signature to replies from this channel. This will be added below, so it's below, any staff-specific signatures. Um, you can use staff name as a variable in your signature. Um, so if you want to craft um, signatures for everybody as the admin and not have individuals customize their signatures, you can use the channel signature option as well. Um, okay, so that's kind of the, the basics of that. Um, we're going to go back to the inbox here, and we're going to end this episode uh, nice, short, and sweet. And then I'll see you guys in episode four.